Last time on One on One. I'm going to the University of Maryland. Yes! yes! Baby, what about Cal Arts? I just decided to stay here and be with my boo. We need to make sure that she goes to Cal Arts, away from Arnaz. How could Brianna go to California to follow her dream and you stay here in Baltimore to follow your dream? I've been giving this a lot of thought and I really think that Cal Arts is a better school for you. Are you talking about us being apart? Nicole, if Brianna finds out about this, she's gonna hate us for the rest of our lives. You just make sure she gets on that plane to California and don't screw it up. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. I found in storage. It was mine in college and now it's yours. You can't go to college without a footlocker. Why not? I'm going without a boyfriend. Does that footlocker have soft lips and tell me how beautiful I am? Uh, no, but a footlocker can double for a coffee table, a stereo stand, and a jerry curl restoration center. <laughs> Seriously, think of California as a new beginning, a, a chance to make new friends. California friends. I bet they're real nice out there. Oh, really? You mean like Phil Spector, Robert Blake, and Scott Peterson nice? All right, well, just stay away from old white men with bad haircuts. All right, Flex, I'm almost done with Brianna's graduation video. All I need now is the perfect ending. Uh, how about when Brianna received her diploma? When that happened? See, that's what I get for hiring John Singledum. So where's our little college student? In her room, miserable because of me. Hmm. Reminds me of my youth. So what'd you do to ruin her childhood? Tell her that moonwalking naked during her lunch period would make her popular? Look, I, I convinced Arnez that it would be better for Brianna to go to California without him. And I was right for getting involved, wasn't I? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but then again, I'm the one who's getting the perfect ending to my video. <laughs> this is gonna blow up in your face and action. Thank you. <laughs> Man, what have I done, D? I spent four years trying to build my daughter's trust and I'm the one who betrays her. And I just wish I could tell her. Well, you can. Tell it to the lens. <laughs> Don't you get it? I just can't tell her, D. And she'll hate me for meddling. And I still think California is what's best for her. So, maybe, maybe I did the right thing. You think I did the right thing? Yeah, of course I did the right thing. D, tell me I did nah. the right thing. Man, you did the right thing. Ah, it doesn't count if I have to beat it out of you. Mama says it counts more. <laughs> everything without me. You went shopping. You got ice cream. You even went to the post office without me. Spirit, did you follow me today? Why do you have to go to summer school? Why can't you wait until the fall like normal people? Because I'm not normal. I'm a theater major. We have to start in the summer repertory program. Besides, I'm trying to get as far away from here as I possibly can. Not to be away from you. We'll always be friends no matter how far apart we are. Okay. But promise me, we'll talk on the phone. You have to call me. My parents have toll restrictions. Ooh, a present. Oh, save your money, girl. You get all this for free. <laughs> no, it's not for you. It's for Brianna. Oh, good. She could use a pick-me-up. Then again, so could I. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't want Brianna to walk in and get the wrong idea. I've been her father for a long time. She knows women can't resist me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 let me. Uh, Brianna, I, I 
I was looking for you. Oh, really? Did you think I was in the back of my daddy's mouth? I'm Bri. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you presents. <laughs> oh, I'm not grossed out anymore. <laughs> what? Another therapy journal, but I thought I was fixed. <laughs> oh, this isn't for therapy. This is for when something wonderful happens to you, then you can write it down. Oh, thanks. Oh, I, I noticed you didn't give me a pen, so I guess you're feeling as optimistic as I am. <laughs> Uh, yes, she's been like that ever since her and Arnaz broke up. Oh, poor girl, but I know she'll get through it because she has you. <laughs> hey, whoa, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I, I just meant that you're a good father. You know, you two have a level of trust and honesty that most relationships never reach. You're a wonderful and loving parent, Flex. Any girl would be lucky to have a father like you. Don't you agree? Uh, what's with the 20 questions? I only asked one. <laughs> But I went behind Brianna's back and convinced Arnez that it's best for her to go to California without him. There, are you happy? You with your Freudian mind tricks. Flex, I, I, I just, just, just back off, will you? It wasn't just me. Nicole pressured me. You met her, she's scary. <laughs> she doesn't even cook her meat anymore. <laughs> Besides, at the time, it made sense. Look, we just want what's best for her. Flex, you're a wreck. You have to come clean with Brianna. No, I can't. Well, why not? You never had trouble being honest with her before. Why is it so hard now? Is it because you know you shouldn't have interfered? Oh. All right, you're right. I'll, I'll tell her. Curse you and your PhDs. <laughs> you're welcome. No, that'll be $100. No, seriously, go get your checkbook. All right, sis. Yeah, her flight gets in at 8 o'clock. I know it's a six-hour flight. Yeah, I know there's a time difference. You're three hours behind. What do you mean in how are we having this conversation right now? Uh, Bernadette, please just pick her up. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Daddy, is Aunt Bernadette still picking me up from the airport? Yeah, but it's a chance she'll be three hours late. <laughs> baby, look, there's something I need to tell you. I already know no drugs, no booze, no babies. No, I, I mean, yes. And, and don't forget, no reality shows. <laughs> But in addition to that, I, I just want to... Oh, I'm going to miss you. Oh, don't worry, girl. I already told you you're going to visit me in California, remember? Sunshine, beaches, hot boys. I guess that could be fun. <laughs> and you know, this is going to be fun. <laughs> never seeing you again. <laughs> oh, come on, just one last dig before I never see you again. <laughs> All right, seriously, get out. Come on, come on. Right, say bye. I'm say bye. Come on, come on. Say bye. Bye. <sighs> All right, baby, we need to talk seriously. What is it, Daddy? Sweetie, I... Oh, I'm gonna miss you! Oh, no, come on, dog. Look, we feel your love, but Brianna and I need to talk. Man, this is an outrage. I'm her godfather. I was there when she was born. And I was listening when she was conceived. Man, you better get out of here, man. <laughs> All right, look, uh, I'm gonna make this quick so we can hurry up and get to the airport. I kind of tricked Arnez into telling you to go to California without him. Whew, I'm glad that's off my chest. Let's roll. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Hold up. You did what? <sighs> Look, Bree, y your mother and I were worried about you and Arnez being too caught up in each other. And we didn't want you to make the same mistakes we did. So I talked to him and helped him realize that you two being apart was best for everyone. Your mother made me do it. <laughs> How could you? How could you go behind my back and meddle in my life? Baby, I just want what's best for you. Stop saying that. All you care about is what's best for you. Look, I know you're hurt, but I'm still your father. Fine. Father. But I'm not getting on that plane until I talk to Arnett. What? Well, you, 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 you are not leaving this house without me going with you. <laughs> Arnett, open up. It's me. Come on. Arnaz, please! Brianna! Come on, please be home. Uh, they're gone, Arnaz. They left for the airport a while ago. I just wanted to say goodbye. Dwayne's just killing me. Uh, I know how you're feeling. Uh, next time, try knocking with the side of your hand and not your knuckles, more meat. <laughs> Dwayne, I hope I did the right thing. I mean, I can't eat, I can't sleep. 
Brianna's been my world for the last four years. I really love her and I'm gonna miss her. Yeah, I feel the same way. Except for the can't eat part. <laughs> I was about to fire up the fondue, can I tempt you? I can't believe I pushed her away. It wasn't just you. It was what Flex and Nicole wanted. Why do you think he came to talk to you in the first place? Well, because. He was just pointing out that Brown would be better off in California without me. Oh my God. How can I be so stupid? <laughs> Sorry, son, you, you get that from me. Uh, Dwayne, you know you're not my dad, right? That hurts, Arnez. <laughs> After everything I did for you. Look, look, Flex just did what he thought was best for Brianna, and so did you. Yeah, but it hurts so much. Ah, oh, son. That's because you made the ultimate sacrifice. You set her free. Now it's time to start thinking about yourself. I mean, music has always been your dream, and now that dream is starting to come true. <laughs> I heard your song on the radio the other day. Uh, fighting for revolution. <laughs> Brianna, I will not let you get on that plane without you speaking to me. All right, don't make me buy a ticket and come with you. Fine, I'll talk to you. Thanks for the ride, bye. Look, Brianna, what I did was one of the most difficult things I've ever done, and that includes marrying your mother. Hey, look, I'm just trying to keep it real. <laughs> look, sometimes, as a parent, you, you have to be the bad guy. I, I tried for the last four years not to be that guy. This is something I had to do, baby. So you can be mad at me if you want. But I feel California is where you belong. That's all right, baby. Look, it's tough for me, too. I just wish Arnez would have fought harder for me. You crying tears over the boy? <laughs> no. I mean, he has one talk with you, and he just lets me go? What kind of man is he? Oh, baby, you know, I am kind of convincing. I do this thing with my eyebrow, and then it works every time. You know what? Maybe you did do me a favor. Going to California alone is going to be the best thing that ever happened to me. Ah, that's my baby? Yeah. I'm not going to let some cute, mindless boy hold me back. <laughs> Okay, it's time. Oh, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I got something for you. Oh, it's T Boss. Where did you find her? And what happened to her other ear? <laughs> well, uh, your mom sent it to me a while ago. She must have eaten the other ear during one of her feedings. <laughs> All right, now you better go before I, I start. Oh, too late. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Sometimes he sits alone Just thinking about you Sometimes they'll ask me questions I don't have the answers to He's got a name He's got a soul He's got a heart It's got a hope So if you don't It's got a hole. He's got a name. He's had to go first class, huh? Arnaz, what are you doing here? 
sir. Oh, oh this plane is about to take off in Los Angeles. Well, good, because that's where I'm headed. I got my passport and everything. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm not better than to leave Baltimore without a passport. <laughs> Donna, look, it's important that I'm true to myself and that I follow my heart. And my heart's going to California, so that's where I'm going. What about your band, your career, your future? Uh, the only future that I'm sure of is the one with you. And I was a fool to let anyone, even your father, try to convince me otherwise. Yeah, about that? You have one conversation with my dad and you're ready to just give me up? Why didn't you just say no? Haven't you learned anything from being with me? I know. I'm sorry. But your dad, he does his thing with his eyebrow. <laughs> Look, Brianna, I know you don't want to hear this right now. But I would give anything to have parents who cared about me the way that yours do about you. I love you more than anything, Brianna. I love you, too. Let me get the light for you. Ooh, I love first class. <laughs> Danielle, maybe this was a mistake. You won't be able to cheer me up. I miss my baby too much. I'm just in a funk. Ooh, to me, deep funk. Oh, don't, don't worry, baby. That's just crystal. Keep going. Keep going. Ooh, ow, God. I wish I had a dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, take it down. Baby, I had no idea you were so naughty. Me neither, until I met you. Ooh, yeah. Ooh don't choke me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, I can't explain this. <laughs> Baby, what happened? What are you doing here? Daddy, I'm not going to California. And these shoes better be at the end of that sentence. <laughs> Look, Daddy, I appreciate what you and Mommy were trying to do for me, but I'm 18 now and I need to make my own decisions. Uh, here's something I thought I'd never say to my daughter. Baby, could you untie me so we can talk about this? <laughs> Yeah, in, in one minute, because it's j just one more thing. Uh, I'll just stand by the door. <laughs> uh, I won't be living with you anymore. I'm moving in with Arnez because that's where my heart is. <laughs> oh, your heart? What about my heart, huh? The one that your mother's going to rip out of my chest when she finds out you're moving in with the boy. <laughs> look, look, Daddy, I know this is a lot of information to take in right now, so why don't you go back to doing... <laughs> Whatever it was y'all was doing. <laughs> and uh, I'll call you later. Bye. Uh, baby, you got... <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Washington. I just... I love her too much to let her go. Hey, Arnaz, I understand. I appreciate that, man. Come here, man. We never get to talk, man. Come here. <laughs> man, I'm so proud of you and the band and everything. You know. <laughs> no, Mr. Washington. <laughs> Not the eyebrow. Oh, there's no brow, bruh. Just why, why don't you uh, untie me so we can so we can shake hands like men? I'm dumb, Mr. Washington. But I don't want to be dead dumb. See ya! Hey! Hey! Did you there? Now open the door to our apartment. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? It's an eviction notice. Okay, I was behind a couple of months with the rent, but I raised the money and I was gonna pay up today. And? And I used it so I can buy a ticket so I can get on a plane and get my girlfriend back. Oh. But wait, wait, where are we gonna live? Well, as long as we're together, it doesn't matter where we live. Right, baby? <laughs> I'm sorry, have we met? I'm spoiled. <laughs> you need to take care of me, Arnez. Hey, we're a team now. We split everything. If I had a sandwich, half of it would be yours. Oh, really? Well, where are we eating this sandwich? On the street? <laughs> There's no actual sandwich. 
It's just a metamorphosis for our relationship. <laughs> and you're the one going to college. It's called a metaphor, Arnez. A metaphor. Well, I don't know anything about metaphors. But I know what this is for. <laughs> Boy, put your shirt down. We don't have a place to live. What are we going to do? Well, I know what I want to do. <laughs> Love you too, Netta.